What's going on everybody? This is Sanitary103. Thank you for watching another video. So in this installment, I'm going to show you how to properly check your blood pressure. If you would like tips on how to lower your blood pressure, I did a video on that and I'll put a link to that video right here. But with that being said, with blood pressure, it is a silent killer. So you definitely want to check your blood pressure on a regular basis. Because it's a silent killer, there are no really signs or symptoms. So it's something that you don't want to take lightly. So right here, I went to Amazon.com and I did some research and I bought this one right here. It's from Panasonic. It's about like $38 plus tax. Um, it got really good reviews. I'll put a direct link from Amazon.com in the description box if you would like to inquire about this. But so far, it's a really good product. And a few things uh, before I'm going to show you what you want to do to check your blood pressure. You want to make sure that your feet are planted on the floor, okay? You don't want to cross your legs. You don't want to be up like this. You want to keep them planted on the floor. You want to try to stay relaxed in a seat and like this. And then the other thing is that you don't want to wear something too restrictive. Like this is absolutely perfect, but you don't have to take it to this extreme. If you want to wear a regular t-shirt, that's fine. But you don't want to get it all jumbled up because you're going to put the cuff a little bit on your bicep area. The other thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't eat or drink or talk during the blood pressure reading. You want to stay relaxed. And just, you know, if you want to close your eyes, that's fine. But try to relax. Don't hold your breath. Don't do anything. Just try to be as normal as possible. The other thing you want to do is you want to make sure your palm is out this way. And you're going to basically going to get this cuff right here. You're going to open it like that. And with this device, you're going to put it, if you look a little bit closer, you see the crease where the forearm and the bicep starts? You want to put it a little bit above the elbow crease right here. So look at, there's a little bit of leeway, so you don't want to put it right here. You want to put a little bit above, which I'm going to do. With this device, the cord's going to be on the inside of your body, and you're just going to wrap it around like this. So once you do that, you just put the arm out like this, and then over here on this device, if you come closer, so over here you have the systolic and the diastolic. You basically want to be between 110 and 120 on the systolic and about 70 to 80 on the diastolic. You press on, and then once you press on, it'll automatically go. Now, um, I recently just ate, so I'm not gonna actually press this right now, and which leads me to my other point. You want to uh, take the blood pressure reading consistently on, on the same time of day. The best time to take it is first thing in the morning, before you've eaten anything, and after you've went to the bathroom. If you take the blood pressure reading um, when you're already bloated or holding a lot of water, that can increase the chances of having an abnormally high reading, which is totally inaccurate. So take it first thing in the morning, right when you wake up, use the restroom, and then take the reading. Once you get a reading uh, for about two or three days, you'll have an idea of where you stand with your blood pressure. If you're typically above the 140, 150 range with the systolic number, and or above 90 on the diastolic. That's something that you may need to monitor and see with your doctor. And one last point I wanted to make is that there are so many different types of products out there that you wanna test the accuracy of this. So how do you do that? After you get a few readings with whatever monitor you choose, in this case, the Panasonic one, after you take it, let's say first thing in the morning, go to the doctor's office and then have the blood pressure reading then they should be pretty accurate. If they're fairly close and you have a good product. If there's a discrepancy between what you get on the home blood pressure monitor and at the doctor's office, there's a good chance that what you have at home is inaccurate, so you may need to return and get a better product. All right, so that's about it for this video. Like I said, blood pressure is something not to be taken lightly, so definitely have it monitored. Watch your diet, eat right, cut down on the sodium, and you should be okay. The comments and questions are always welcome, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.